In today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite play in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you've never seen any of my videos before, I just want to encourage you, what we do here is we break down Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day and post them on the internet. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe and research shows only 40% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed to my channel. It's completely free to subscribe, you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like the content and we post four videos every single day on YouTube, one at 2 o'clock, one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, and one at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. All right, guys, so I want to show you one of my favorite plays in the entire game. This comes to us from the Gun Spreadwise slot in the Arizona Cardinals playbook, and the play is Quirrell Wheel. This truly is literally my favorite passing play in the entire game. We're going to show you a couple of different setups for it today. This is kind of my number one play, but I actually have a full ebook out on the Arizona Cardinals offense uh, which is going to be linked down in the description of this video. So if you want to pick up the ebook, it's a full offense, and it's also got my full 46 defensive playbook or defensive ebook as well. So be sure to pick that up. That link is in the description. All right, guys, so curl wheel. I like to run it flipped. And basically what you want to do is you want to have your best wide receiver out at the wide receiver number one position. And the first things we're going to do is we're going to back this ball up just a little bit just to give us a little bit more space and show you really truly why I like this offense so, 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 so much. And it starts with this idea that you're going to be able to develop some really, really unique snap throw type of plays and type of combinations. So one of my favorite things to do with this is I'm going to take the tight end, I'm going to put him on a hitch route, and I'm going to motion him to the left side of the screen. As you can see right here, it's going to bring him into a compressed formation and basically turns this into gun doubles offset. As you see here, I have the curl, um, I have the post route right there, and then I have this curl route to Marquez Valdez Scanlon. Now the next thing that I like to do is I actually, actually like to leave my running back on this little swing route, or I like to put him on a wheel route. Either one uh, is up to you, whichever one you want to do. But I, for this purpose of this video, I'm actually going to put him on a swing route. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my slot wide receiver. And again, you could do this uh, with your slot. You could do this with your outside receiver if you wanted to. Uh, it's really kind of up to you. But I actually really like to take my slot receiver and put him on a slant pattern right across the formation just as a nice little quick check down read uh, in case stuff goes you know kind of downhill or in case I need anything backside and the last thing I like to do with that is scantling is you can leave him on his route or you could put him on another curl route if you wanted to um, you could also smart route it you'll see if you smart route it he's gonna go a little bit shallower uh, as you can see right there he's gonna go just a little bit shallower but the first read on this play especially if it's man to man or any type of cover two this route is absolutely incredible. In my opinion, it's the number one route in Madden 21. It's darn near impossible to cover, uh, whether it be with their user or not, and that's what makes this thing so, so, so powerful. One of the other things you'll notice is if I motion this tight end, um, you see that he's actually gonna run a little bit more of a compressed style of curl route, which can actually be very beneficial. So another setup that I like to do is I'll motion him this and keep him on his route. And then I'm just going to run essentially a curl flat concept to the right side of the screen, just like this. And then on the back side of the screen, I'm going to run a little option pattern. So basically I have curls all over the place. Um, depending on the defense is going to give me different windows to be able to throw the ball into those windows. So uh, I highly recommend using the Packers for this or some type of quarterback that has gunslinger. It's going to make that post route that much more powerful to Devontae Adams. Now this is actually a, a multi-window route and I want to talk about a formation or a coverage that you're actually going to probably see a lot if you play um, if you play Madden very much at all this year, and that's the Mabel coverage, right? Cover three Mabel. And so what we're going to see here is when we bring this tight end into compression set right here, uh, actually motion to the wrong way. And again, just to be clear, you want to make sure that you're motioning him to the left, okay, on this. That's going to bring him in compressed. And then we now can do, you know, kind of some of these combinations right here. But what you'll notice is if I'm facing Mabel coverage, you see that this um, that a lot of times what they'll do from Mabel coverage is they'll have some type of uh, flat zones at like five yards or zero yards and then they'll have curl flat zones that are going to drop back about 20 yards um, 
back on the field. So when you start facing stuff like that, then I actually think it actually does make some sense to use this tight end on just a simple flat route because what it's going to do is it's going to pull these zones out and it's going to give you more room to be able to hit that route to Devontae Adams right at the stab of the ball. So that is an option. Um, and I, I truly am actually very fond of this setup right here. Um, this setup right here, put the running back on an option route. You got two flat routes on the field. So you can snap throw either one of them. If they're not playing hard flats on their field, you can easily snap throw either one of these little quick reads. Um, and actually, I think snap, throws, uh, snap throwing uh, these flat routes are really, really underrated. And again, what you're going to see is this is going to just kind of open up space for you to be able to then work over the middle of the field. And you can throw this ball into multiple different windows that are really, really effective. Another thing that you could do is you could clear your space with something like this. And then you could actually take your running back. And on this scenario, we're going to motion him to the right here. This is one of my favorite little concepts to do. But basically, I'll take the slot and I'll put the slot on a streak. And this is just going to clear vertical space. And I just want to show you what this does against like a cover three or cover four. But you now have those same concept. But if you have time in the pocket, you're going to notice that this post route is going to get all the way across the formation. And that's one of the things that I think makes this one of the most effective routes uh, in Madden 21. So let's say that they're running some type of Mabel uh, coverage on you, and they're going to run a lot of drop back coverage. They're going to, you know, really drop their guys back and really try to, you know, basically do that. Well, then you can run something like this right here. And I know this doesn't look like that powerful setup, but you'll see very late in this play. And again, I, I need a little bit more time to get this off. And you wouldn't want to run this version of it unless they were really running a lot of max coverage. But what you'll notice is basically what we're doing is we're going to build an entire offense really around this one route to Devontae Adams because I believe that it is the best route in the entire game. So we'll streak the slot, have the running back on a little shoot flat route. And then what you'll see is this post route. If we wait in the back and we have a little bit of time, you're going to see that that streak is going to run everybody off the field and you're going to be able to hit this for an absolute laser. So this thing beats man. It beats zone coverage very, very well. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to show you or just talk about a little bit with you here is, again, when you, when you really compress this, when you really keep it kind of under wraps a little bit, um, you're going to find a lot of success, especially, you know, leveraging max protection, leveraging different things that you can do with your running back to give you a little bit more space and a little bit more time. But this is one of the best post routes late in the route, just like it's one of the best post routes early in the route. That's one of my favorite things about this route because it's open at multiple different points. So, you know, let's say they're running some type of cover two style defense on you. If you go to this play um, and you can smart route it to make it just a little bit shallower. But what you're going to find is you're going to get something like this right here. And then I basically have curl flat on both sides. Maybe throw my running back on a little option round if I want to put him on a route or just keep him in a block for extra protection. But again, look at this thing late. You see it's coming open late in the play over the clouds, over the purple zones. Um, and that's one of the real beauties of this. So another thing that somebody might do is they might try to do something like this where they basically are running cover three Mabel, but they're gonna do deep halves on their outside. And this is again, where we're gonna clear space and we're gonna throw this ball um, kind of late in the play. But you'll see, they really have to user this thing all the way across because if they deep half, you see he's gonna sit right underneath that zone late in the route. So not only is it open early, but it's also one of those routes that's really, really good um, late in the play. Now, what would you say to do, um, what, would, what would you say if they are not running, uh, maybe they're running hard flats, but they're running like yellow zones and behind those hard flats to try to get this, get this route. That's where I really, really like to, um, I, I really, really like to pass lead this up into the inside against the coverage like that. Let me show you this real quick. We got the safety on the same side as the corner, um, or none on the corner as the post route. And this is probably the most effective coverage that I would say for guarding this route. But what you'll see is if I throw this early, like right there, I actually have that wide open when I use that flat route from the tight end. So a lot of beautiful um, route combinations that you can really create from the gun spread. And uh, I've, it's been a while since I've talked about the Arizona ebook, but it's still, in my opinion, 
the number one or number close, very close second but to the New England guide, but it's a really, really good offense. And so if you want to run the Air Raid offense, the full Arizona Cardinals ebook is in the description. It's over 10 hours of video content, over 100 pages of written material. If you have not picked that up and you've been following my channel for any type of length of time, you know that this is one of my favorite, favorite offenses um, in Madden 21. So I'd highly encourage you to go ahead and pick it up. Again, a link is in the description. We're going to be showing you some more plays from the spread uh, in today's YouTube videos.